Alright guys, you have edited all your messages and you got all your links in there, you're ready to go with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the web form. Okay, now the web form is just this part right here. You know, you've got a name box, an email box, an optional box, and you know, all these images all along with it. That is the actual web form. You've got the list made. Um, the list with the emails but now we're creating the web form to kind of give it um, you know something that people can look at okay so you've got all that done once you've got all the emails edited everything's ready to go on that um, and I do recommend you to go through and test each one of these it has a test button and you can kind of go through each one it's gonna take some time again but you can test to make sure all the links work correctly and everything you can look over the emails once you get them in your ebox e your inbox because when you test it it sends to your inbox and you can you know check each part of the email that you edited okay uh, once all that's done go to web forms left click that uh, pay no attention to this stuff right here uh, go to create a new web form now what it's going to do is give you just a basic template template or a layout um, let me find us a good one to kind of work from. Now, Aweber has tons and tons of stuff in here for you to use if you don't want to go through the process of making it look like really awesome, <laughs> like mine. Okay. But if you want to make it look awesome like mine, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Uh, you can go through here. You can go to all these different. You can go to like popular here. And they'll have all different kinds of, you know, like this one right here is a good one. You know, it's got red, like infinity downline. Uh, let me just play with that right quick. You just load it. You can choose which color you want it to, to look like. Let's go with the red right here. Load it up. It's going to give us a good one to kind of work from. Okay, now let me show you what you need to do to put your own images into here. Now you can just stick that right there onto a site and you know it's it's better to have an autoresponder than not have an autoresponder but you want to give a description of what you're offering as a gift okay so if you just click in the header section you can just type something like sign up here and I can never spell or type when I'm doing these tutorials I have no idea why Sign up here for a free bonus on how to get, let's say, 22 leads daily into your business. Okay, you want to have some kind of description there uh, about what you're offering and give, or giving away, whatever that might be. For instance, mine, I give away a traffic re uh, report, PDF report. ID success report I give away you always want to kind of add some value there to let people know that they're getting quite a bit of quite a bit of an awesome giveaway for free but it also has a monetary value as well to let them let them know they're getting a great deal basically okay but here's what I do and what I recommend you do okay right here on the sign up you can use that's what uh, somebody would click to sign up into your autoresponder what I recommend you do is go up here to advanced excuse me let me close that you need to click here first then go to advanced okay now and let me do that real slowly again for you because this was such a headache figuring this out when I first started getting into this stuff left click on that uh, your button when it shows form button go up here and click advanced and what you got right here you're gonna put a URL of what you want this button to be so for instance uh, let's say you've uploaded an image into your WordPress right here like I've got like let's go to Google images let's grab us a new button what all I did was go let me let me back out of this again, okay, guys, and take you through this step. Go to Google, go to Images, get a, let's get whatever you want your button to look like. Submit now button. Let's see what this comes up with. Now let's do 
to do this. Access now button. Okay, that's a really good one uh, right here. Anything red that really jumps out at people. Let's try. Let's do this one right here. Okay, left click it. Right click, save image as, save to your desktop first, save it. I've already got it on there, so I'm just going to save it again. And let's go back into a, let's, excuse me, go to your WordPress. You've got a website build built, obviously, if you're going to put an autoresponder on it. So go to your WordPress dashboard. It's going to look like something like this. Go to media. We're going to add new. We're going to select that file. Now you can drag it in there, but I'm just used to doing it like this. And let's find that image really quickly. Okay, there it is right there. We're going to open. And now that's in there. Now, the file URL right there. Left click, hold your button down. Highlight the entire thing, right click and copy, and go back into your web form generator. And then this part right here for the button image, we're going to X that out, and we're going to put our new one in there. Okay, so we're going to paste that. Okay, after it's pasted in there, just go down here and left click somewhere. I don't know why that is not showing up. I must have two HTTPs at the beginning of this. Yes. Bad things happen, guys, when you have two. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> no, you need to get those out. Okay. There it goes. Okay. Now. Make sure you've copied and pasted in there. Make sure you don't have a, two HTTPs at the front of it. Take that out. It should be showing up perfectly. Okay, hit save. Now, that is your new submit or button. Like I've get, got get instant access. I got that image the same way from Google. Now you've got that there in there, okay, which looks really cool. You probably want to resize these two right here to make it about the same length. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a really cool header, okay? So let's just click that, advanced, pull it back down. Let's remove it first, okay? We're going to add an image back in here again. So let's go back up here and click image. And let's just put a URL somewhere. Now I'm going to have all these really cool images like this right here down below this video for you to right click, save to your desktop, and then upload into your WordPress. Okay, so let me show you the process of that right there. Okay, let's go to media. Uh, we're going to go to add new. And after you've taken the image, okay, that's down below this video, and you've put it on your desktop. I'm going to show you how to upload it into your WordPress, get the URL from it, then put it onto your web form, okay? So I've got all mine saved in, and I've created all these for you, by the way, for you just to kind of plug into it. It took me forever to get these things right, okay? Let me go back one. Op Opt-in images, okay? Right here. Okay, let me make these bigger. So I can figure out the one I want. So I've made a lot of these, and you'll see these down below. I've left some of them blank if you want to use a graphic tool, and I can't get in, in, into all that because graphic design is a whole other thing. I just cannot, <laughs> it's, you know, go to YouTube and search in for how to, you know, use GIMP 2 or Photo Filter or another free tool to show you how to do some, you know, some basic kind of graphic design but I've, I've left this one completely blank blank excuse me um, let me find one that I've done completely I'm just gonna grab this one I'm gonna open it ok 
Okay. That is uploaded into my WordPress. The URL is going to be right down here if you remember. And I'm going to highlight that entire thing. Right click copy. Go back to Aweber. Stick that right in here. I went up here and I clicked image. This pops up. Right click. Paste it in there. Hit save. Let's do, let's do center right there. Save. Okay. Now what you want to do right now is just left click it and drag it up here. Okay. Now you got a pretty good looking uh, web form going on right here. Okay. Let me resize this just a little bit more to make it all look kind of the same. And that is just about it on that, guys. Now you can go up here and you can play around and put all different kinds of stuff right here, but that's just kind of basically to show you how to put, you know, how to make a really great looking web form, okay? Let's just, for instance, let's just, if you got, when you get it right exactly how you want it, and let, let, me, let me tell you, you will have to go around up here and play around. You've got to create new field button. Um, you can put in something like here, like for instance, you notice that I've got your biggest question or concern. You can do this right here, like, what's your biggest question? And just hit save. I've got to take that out. It does not allow that character. What is your biggest question? Save. Okay. And just, you know, you can make whatever forms you want to. You don't want to make that too long, though. Okay, you might want to put a little special message down there. But if any more images, like I've got a PayPal verified there, just for, you know, to, just for some trust issues there. Um, I've just went up here, add an image. You can stick that in there if it's uploaded to your WordPress. Just repeat the same steps that I've done there for whatever images you want in there, okay? Once that's completely done, you've got it all worked out, it looks great. Hit save web form. Okay, that is completely saved. Now, I'm going to stop the video right here because the next one's going to be how to put this into our WordPress widget. Okay, so take your time, get it looking exactly how you want to. You know, download the images below this video, which is this right here. Um, that we've that I've done for you okay to use now obviously if you don't have this traffic necess report necessarily you do want to use the other ones that are you know that are blank and just kind of put your own or you may want to just want to go up here and use one of a Weber's templates and type in whatever kind of free bonus that you are giving away okay but you kind of want to you know tailor tailor it to whatever free gift you're giving away okay next video we're going to do installing it into the widget on wordpress and see you in just a second